When I learned how to walk, my mother says she wondered if I would be able to walk through this world with my head high, walking with her pride and stepping with her mother's stride. When I learned how to walk, my mother says she hoped that I would learn how to go the extra mile. When I learned how to talk, my mother says she hoped that I would always speak love into existence. Even with the words that I scribbled in my books, my mother taught me to always look in the mirror if I ever forgot how God looks. When I bring my own children into this world, this ever-changing, uncertain world, I will teach them to give thanks for the things that still remain constant, like gravity, at least, or the fact that even with humanity at a standstill, the sun without fail still rises from the east. Maumbile hayabadiliki. I will teach my children that it's okay to be vulnerable, that sometimes life is scary and that's a fact, but when I ask you how your day was, I still need you to tell me exactly that. I will teach my children that love is a verb as much as it is a noun. I will teach my children how to treat people the way grateful hands receive gifts. I will teach my children that God is good all the time. And all the time, sometimes all isn't good, but at least all the time, God is always on time. And I hope they understand me. I hope my children will understand what I mean when I tell them that they should be the sunrise in a world full of midnights. I hope they'll understand what I mean when I tell them that they should be the sun in a world full of dim lights. Because we are all just musical notes waiting to be loved into songs or words waiting to be loved into poems. And so like the branch and the vine, the poets and the poem intertwine and we come alive. I will teach my children not to be afraid. I will teach them to always raise their hands to answer questions even when they are afraid of not being right. I will teach them even in a world where they do not understand what's going on, to speak with the same conviction God spoke with when he said, let there be light.